everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. And as you can see behind me, today's video, we will be tackling this room again. So what I wanna try and show you in this video is how to tackle an overwhelming mess. So when you've got a mess so big that it's just too overwhelming to, to actually make a start on it, I just wanted to try and show you different ways that I go about tackling a mess that is so big it's just overwhelming. I mean, this is our supposedly theater room. Well, it will be our TV slash theater room once all this junk is gone. Um, but at the moment, it just seems to be a dumping ground for stuff that we just don't either wanna put away, we need to get rid of, or we don't know where it goes. So, I've already done a video on this once before, cleaning it all up and, and getting it like all nice and tidy again. But what I wanted to concentrate on in this is actually just showing you some tips and um, different ways that I go about it that makes it less overwhelming. And you don't have to finish a job like this in one day. There's no rule that says once you start, it needs to be finished in a day. Because I work full time, sometimes I will just spend half an hour to an hour on it every day. And eventually it, it gets less and less. So what I wanna show you today, I'll show you the mess we're starting with. And then I'll show you some ways that I go about making the job that seems too overwhelming, uh, making that job a little bit easier. So let's show you what we're dealing with. All right, so like I said before, this room will eventually be our TV slash theater room. But at the moment, we are about waist high in just crap, rubbish, crap, um, yeah. <laughs> it's just shit everywhere basically it's even my drying room at the moment so i don't have a clothesline outside so at the moment this is where we also dry all our clothes so yes there is quite a lot of stuff that needs to be gone through because a lot of this stuff is going to be stuff that i want to sell because i want to try and recover some money back so that I can then buy light fittings and different things that we still need for around the house. So if it's an item that I think I might be able to get some money for, sure, I'm gonna sell it. If it's something that I just know is not gonna be really easy to sell, or if the stuff that I want to sell doesn't sell, then I will just donate it. But at the end of the day, I wanna try and make a little bit of money off this so that I can buy different light fittings and different things that we still need to finish the house. Okay, so you've seen the mess we're dealing with. So the way I like to tackle this sort of mess is create four piles to start with. The four piles that we need to create are a selling pile, so stuff we wanna sell, stuff we wanna throw out, stuff we wanna donate, and stuff we wanna keep. Now, I don't like to keep the four piles in that room because I know they're just gonna stay in that room. So what I do, the stuff I'm gonna sell I will keep in that room because clearly I need a spot to be able to photograph it, uh, put it like, you know, list it online to sell and somewhere for it to stay until it does sell. So the selling pile will stay in this room. And then on the outside of this room, which is like where our main living area is, I'm gonna have the other three piles. So I'm gonna have the throwing out pile, the donate pile and the keep pile. Now, the reason I bring those three piles out here is because what I do is, say if I've only got one hour to, to organize this room, whatever I get done in that hour, as far as whatever gets put in all the piles in that hour, the three piles that are out here need to be dealt with and cleared before you finish your sorting for the day. So whatever is in that trash pile will need to get picked up and put straight into the trash. Whatever is in the donate pile, what I normally do is I have a box sitting in my car. I get all that stuff, put it in a box in my car. So next time I go to work, it gets taken to the thrift store. The keep pile, before I finish up for the day, whatever is in that keep pile, 
I find a spot for. I put it where it needs to be. So if it's shopping bags, I put them back in the car because in Australia we don't have um, plastic bags anymore. We need to bring our own bags. So you find a lot of reusable bags get dumped in here from our shopping because we can't be bothered putting them back in the car. Then we go shopping. We've got no shopping bags to bring our shopping home in and we bring more reusable shopping bags home. So all these sort of things, like the stuff that we need to keep, I am going to put where it actually belongs. So all the shopping bags will go straight into the cars. If there's any home decor things that I decide to keep, I'm either gonna find a spot for in the house or go in my home decor cupboard. It's gonna have a designated space. So by the end of the day, you'll have only your selling pile left in the room where you're starting from. The other three piles should be cleared and gone. So that'll be three piles of crap gone from that room in the time that you've spent dealing with that room. And that's why I say you don't need to do it all in one day. If, if after an hour you're too exhausted, you can't be bothered, deal with the stuff you've already sorted and then start again another day. So that's my biggest tip. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so I've got my little <laughs> my little signs on the floor here. So here we're gonna stack the trash, donate and keep. Now, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily make a sign for myself, but just for you guys to make it a little bit easier to understand what I mean. Um, or if you're having little helpers that, that will wanna help you, you can just, you know, if they're in there and go, oh, where do I put this? You can just, make a decision, trash, donate or keep, and then they can come and put it in the pile. The other tip I just wanted to share quickly as well is don't try and sort anything while it's in there. Just pick the first item up that you see and deal with it. Don't look at the whole mess and go, oh, where do I start? Start with the very first thing that you see. So that folder, pick it up and deal with it. Is it gonna get thrown, donated or sold or kept? and put it in the pile straight away. Next item, the bag, that's the next item you see. Deal with that bag, put it in a pile. So don't try and work the whole mess as a whole. Pick one item up and deal with it. probably about an hour <laughs> all up so this is the progress we've made in the room you can see it's starting to get a little bit clearer I've had enough for today so here are my piles that's my keep pile so I've got to find places for that this is my donate pile so that's going to go in my car straight away that's the only rubbish we have at the moment and then this pile here, they're all the shopping bags. I'm gonna put those in the car and there's a couple of camping bags there that need to go back into a box in the garage. And then these are all storage tubs that need to go in the garage as well. So I'm gonna finish up for today and I'm gonna put all of these things out here away where they belong, whether it's in the trash, in the car, in the garage or within the house somewhere. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that for today and do a little bit more tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's a new day. We're starting to see some more floor in here, which is good. Um, these two bags of clothes I've now listed and put up for sale. Um, I've got some prints there that are gonna be put up for sale. Um, pretty much all that piles for sale. I've got my old coffee table here which I've just taken a picture of and will be putting up. I've got a pile here that I need to take a picture of and that I'll be putting up. 
Um, this is, I've still got to go through all that and sort out that. Um, that's just all our drying stuff at the moment. So that's just going to stay there for now. All of those are our DVDs and everything. So that whole little corner there is actually going to stay in this room because it belongs in the theatre room. The bean bag I'm probably going to sell because we haven't really used that at all. And I doubt we're going to use that when it's a theatre room either. Uh, this pile I've got to do. And then out here, I'm still going with my three piles. So I've got my trash pile, my donate pile, and my keep pile is surprisingly big this time. But, I mean, a lot of that was just dumped in there when I was sorting stuff out. So I'll be finding spots for all that. I've got a little setup here that I'm about to just get ready to sell. And then I've just got to deal with this pile, which is all taking photos and selling. So that's all I'm going to do today. Once I've gotten rid of all this stuff out here, I'm going to leave it at that again today and then do some more another day. And that way it's not so overwhelming and you can see I'm really making some progress. All right. So here is what we have left with at the moment I'm so, I'm so relieved this is done so this little pile here is what's remaining to sell uh, we have a couple of things that we did store in the garage because out where we live we've got like a I think it's the first Sunday of every month you can take all like stuff that you want to sell to like a market so we're going to collect a few things to take to that next time it's on. And these these few things I've just got listed on the buy, swap and sell at the moment. But if they don't sell, I'm gonna just take those as well. But I just don't wanna put those in the garage because a lot of it's like cushions and blankets and, stink and things like that. So I just thought I'll leave that here. So that, that stuff is gonna be gone probably within the next month. I'm still using this room as my drying room at the moment until we build our washing line. So probably this spring, it's winter here now in Australia. So come spring, I'm going to get my husband to build me like an old fashioned wooden uh, washing line out the back. So most of this stuff will then just get hung out there. So that will all go. I'll probably just keep one of these drying racks in the laundry just for rainy days as an emergency, but I'll probably get rid of those too. Um, Cause I don't really, I won't really need them after that. And then this pile here, I mean, I've just got my folding, like my ironing stuff, not that I iron, but the stuff that I've folded that's already dry, I put in piles. So we've got like Jesse's pile, Jamie's pile, my pile and Michael's pile here. So as they dry, I just fold their clothes, stack them there, and then each person takes them into their room. So this stuff here is all the stuff that's gonna be staying in the theatre room. So we've obviously got our theatre surround sound speakers that we haven't set up as yet. And then back here is all of our DVDs, our DVD player and popcorn machine. So all of this stuff is actually staying in this room. Um, pretty much all we need to get for this room now is a theater lounge to go across here. We've already got our TV on the wall. This cabinet here is listed currently on the buy, swap and sell. We're getting rid of that. It's just like a glass display cabinet and we've got all the glass shelves stacked up on the bottom there. Uh, that is just some vinyl that my husband is using to cover his gym equipment. So he's in the process of doing that. We just store that in here until it's done. So yeah, all we really need to finish this room off now is like I said, a nice four seater theater seating. And obviously I'm gonna decorate it with theater style decor, but that won't be for a while yet now because our poor little bandy dog is um, needing some surgery on his leg. So that's pretty much set us back <laughs> quite a few months. Um, pretty much emptied our bank account out. So yeah, it will be a little while before this room gets set up, but I'm just so happy now that it's like all the junk is gone and there's no more junk left in the house. You know what I mean? So, and like I said, there is still some, I've still got to do the garage. So that's going to be like another job. And there's still quite a bit of sorting that needs to go on in there. But whatever is in the garage is actually not coming back into the house. So it's actually going to be sold 
or found a proper spot for in the garage so yeah and like i said guys i mean this didn't take me one weekend you know i mean with me working and just being lazy and <laughs> not really wanting to do it i just did it in little hour pockets or if i had half an hour i just spent half an hour just sorting the stuff into the piles and then dealing with those piles straight away and before long have a look it's all gone I, I highly recommend it if you have an overwhelming job that you you need to do take it in small baby steps because yeah i know how it feels to have a room that is just so far gone you just don't even want to look at it but yeah trust me you'll get there i hope it gave you a few tips on how you can tackle an overwhelming mess in your own house and it works for any area you know pick an area and do the same method put it in your piles get rid of your piles and i guarantee you your house will be decluttered and sorted before you know it well i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i will see you in my next one thanks for watching